I added Lily's new recipe to her AAC device and I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of how I did that for anyone who's looking for something fun to do. In the food folder, I created a recipes folder a long time ago. Inside the recipes folder, you can see it's kind of simple. It's also a different grid. This grid size, I believe, is a five by nine. You can double check that by clicking the pencil icon, going to where it says folder, and then you can see the grid size. If I hit on that, I could select the default, which is for her, it's a seven by 10, but that's where I selected a custom grid size. You can see I already created a folder by hitting the pencil icon and then new folder. It's called Rice Krispie Treats. Open it up. I have a different grid size inside of here too. It makes it easier to see the ingredients and read the instructions. So again, if I wanna change that grid size, pencil icon, folder, there's the grid size. Something else you'll notice, all the buttons are not next to each other. I kind of have them spaced out a little bit. That's another setting inside of the folder. Pencil icon, folder. This right here where it says contents, I have that turned on, that manual layout for each grid size. That's the one that allows you to move buttons to wherever you want them to be. If you have that turned off, buttons always go into the next slot and then you have to create like hidden buttons to space things out. And then you see here, I added all of her ingredients at the top. Those are all in yellow. Those are nouns. And then all of her actions are at the bottom. Those are in pink. Those are verbs. Those are settings and word kind. So I'm gonna click on a button, for example. You can say three tablespoons butter right here. Two things I changed. One was the text size to make sure it could fit on the button. And then two was the word kind to make sure it was set as a noun. And that's how it color codes it. Same for here. Add marshmallows. For the add marshmallows button, you can see that I have that in pink. That's a verb, word kind, verb. If I change the word kind, it's gonna change the color scheme to match other things with that word kind. In this case, we want it to be a verb. And that way, if I were to hold it down to conjugate what it's doing, it's gonna give you verb options. So there you go, that is her new recipe.